Good morning, guys. <clears throat> Sheena here with Ain't Home Gardens. It is so foggy and nasty outside this morning. I put off farm chores for a little bit, and I'm going to get a few things done inside and then a couple errands. And then we'll see what the weather <laughs> looks like outside because I do have a little bit of planting to do today. Time to redo radishes and arugula. We have a planting schedule and we do our very best to stick to it, but um, sometimes it doesn't go as well as we plan. Anyway, one of the inside farm chores that I have to do today is to go through my seed stock and see what I need to purchase for the 2022 season. Uh, it is December, mid-December, early December, I'm sorry. Yeah. And you have to go ahead and plan ahead. If not, the seeds that you'll be looking for from the reputable sources will be gone. And so if you haven't done this already, and I'm actually a little late, I usually do this uh, end of October coming into November, but things have been wild here, unusually busy for a fall so I'm just not getting around to it. I have put some things in my cart um, through some of the sources that we usually use. Johnny's, um, Baker Creek, Southern Exposure. Um, but I'm also trying out some new um, seed sources this year. Melanated Organics. I've already gotten a shipment from them with a few things that I was interested in. Um, and I'm also going to be trying Urban Farmer. I have a few things in my cart for them as well. So uh, let me show you how I usually do this process. Sometimes, this time of the year, my body does not cooperate with me. I think it's the cold, the damp, the back and forth, uh, anywhere from sinus issues to back moaning joint issues. So usually I'm doing this in my bed. I've got the seeds spread out all over the bed and my little containers and my notebook and everything. Um, but today is a good day and so we're able to be at the desk and um, actually I have less space here. There's not a big huge bed to, to spread it all out on but I'm going to do my best. First I want to show you how I have my seeds organized. So here we are. Let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's in. Alright, well maybe I'm out as far as I can go. These are just um, photo storage containers. And I think I've seen a lot of gardeners use this setup. But this is really good. This is a good way for me to store my seeds. And I've gone through several different seed storage set up since I've started in 17 and this one has been the most effective for me I'm gonna stick with it like this is it like hands down containers are pretty durable I throw them all over the place they fall over and the only thing that's ever happened is this little handle sometimes will pop out but you just pop it right right back in I have my seeds divided up into two categories right now Probably this week I'm going to get a third one. Um, this one, as you can see, here has a label that says fall and winter sown. And so in here would be the seeds that I am currently planting. Um, anywhere from our, our different containers here. Let me open up. So our different containers, I have them in alphabetical order to help me just get to things quickly. Um, I have cabbage, I'll start on the wrong side, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, collards, ca carrots, collards, my greens, my specialty greens. These are going to be things that uh, they are not commonly grown in the area that we live in. And so I consider them specialty because I usually don't dedicate a lot of space to them because they're uncommon. So we're usually growing them for, for ourselves and a few select customers that I know are looking for this particular produce item each fall, winter. And then I have the same thing in my spring and summer. 
Okay, so, so on and so forth it goes. So, I've already gone through and reordered for fall, late spring, early summer. So, I know that I'm pretty well stocked up on all my fall items. So, there's no need for me to go through this particular case. Today, we're going to be focusing on our spring and summer. So, let me... What I also like about them is that they're they're not huge. Like you could slide them under your bed, slide them under a chair, under a desk, and they're they're pretty much out of the way. Okay, so this one is our spring and summer planted or sewn box. And what I have to do is go through and see what I have, what I need. What I have too much of so that I can go ahead and plant it. I want to pay attention also to my seed uh, pack date buy because some seeds will do well even if you've had them for several years. Mustards seem to be in that category. I've had mustards for three, four years and they're just as uh, the germination rate does not seem to have been adjusted. Um, however, there are some other things like peas. Um, some beans that their germination rate really does decrease and it slows like it's gonna germinate but instead of taking three to four days it may be like two weeks before that seed will actually germinate and give you cotyledons and growth and all that so on and so forth so I have to pay attention to the those dates as well so that's what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna have to have and if you're doing this at home, just make sure you pay attention as well to that uh, pack by date or sell by date. Uh, I think it's different companies say it differently. Some say pack for 2021. Some say use by 2021 and have 12, 20, 12, 31, 21, something like that. So just pay attention to that. Let me see if I can find one and show you. Okay, so these beans here, you, we did a video on these because they were our, these beans were so productive, ridiculously productive. Thank you, Baker Creek, for carrying these, and they're good. Like, we were eating them right off of the vine when we were outside working, you know, we were just fighting with the the bugs to, to get some but the bugs didn't give us too much trouble until the end of the season stink bugs and squash bugs tend to get up in there and even we noticed some worms eating on the leaves but even with all that they were still super productive and through a dry season super productive on the back of uh, this particular seed pack and this is how they don't do all of theirs this way but I noticed this particular pack is a little bit different so on the back, ugh, was it gonna focus for us? No, okay. Well on the back, this label right here, right here, it says packed for 2022, sell by 1231.22. So this is one of those packs that um, I ordered way ahead of time once I realized how, <laughs> once I realized how good of a bean it was I immediately went back to the website and was like I need as many packs of these beans as I can get um and so I bought I won't tell you how many I bought <laughs> Shh, we won't tell anybody that'll be our little secret uh so I bought a bunch of them so that I can have them for the 2022 growing season. And thankfully those were fresh beans that had been restocked onto their storefront. And so those will be great. I don't need any of those. So as far as my pole beans go, um, that particular one, I will be good. So I don't, I, I'm only going to write down things that I actually need. Bean packets take up a little bit excuse me, more space than um, some of our other seeds. So what I've done is I've separated my pole beans and my bush beans from each other. 
That way I can manage them a little bit better. So this is my pole beans here. And another good pole bean, if you're looking for a green one, is the Kentucky Wonder. I may order some of those in addition to these. That way we have some traditional beans for our customers. Uh, okay, here in my bush bean. Oh, that's not supposed to be in there. And then I often find that things get a little disorganized throughout the season because of just rushing, grabbing. Oh, it's about to rain. Let me get these pole beans in the ground real quick. And just at least they made it back into the container because sometimes it's not even, it's on my desk or somewhere like that. Okay, so I have situations like this. This bean didn't do well for us. I don't think it's the bean. I think it's me because this is a lima, Alabama black eyed lima bean. Uh, we're in Alabama, so hello, what's the problem? Uh, yeah, not exactly sure what I'm doing wrong, but it's, there's only a few in here. So I'm going to plant them somewhere because I'm not wasteful. I want... <laughs> I, I want to be successful and I don't want to waste money. I don't want to waste seed. This is this is commodity. These are good quality seeds too. Um, but this particular, oh, I pulled off the, the pack by date on this one. Same thing for these with Johnny. The Gita whole beans just didn't do well for me. But there's a few in the packet. So these will get a home somewhere mixed up with among other things this year. But they're not going to go on my reorder list because me farmer bane cannot grow them and my soil for whatever reason doesn't like to grow them so i'm just gonna scratch it i'm not saying these are bad beans i have friends that grow them fellow farmers that do so no it's not the beans not the seeds Mwah, me so let me move these over these however whew, these are great our long bean varieties always kill it always kill it red green um cow pea long beans all of them they are just crazy crazy amazing i may have had them in there because they won't fit in here i believe that may be the case but i'm gonna try and try to squeeze it Oof, look at that space I'm probably going to end up having to get, um, get an overflow container so I may end up getting two more um, I had mentioned earlier that I wanted to get a third one and that was for our flowers since we're doing the flower CSA and we're doing bouquets throughout the spring and summer and actually this year I may not even do one in spring because our flowers tend to bloom so early. Our ones that we would like to have for spring, they're usually blooming like February. I don't know what it is. But anyway, um, summer and fall tend to be the best time for us with consistency, with blossoms and the, the vibrancy of the flowers too. So we're probably just going to do summer and fall for this coming season. Anyway, I need a container for just flowers because I have so many flowers and I need to get even more. So, yeah. All right. These are all the bush beans I have. And this is my soybean. And me personally, I'm not a soybean um, fan. But we have customers that like edamame and soybean is fresh soybean is it's just not something you get here we have some farmers who will plant it and harvest it around about now for um, a fall harvest but they're usually sending it off to big production companies for feed and all kinds of other projects but fresh soybean for edamame and for cooking is just not something that's found here and so we feel that need we only do two plantings a year so, you know, it's not very fiscally productive for us, but our customers, you know, where else are they going to go? 
and beans are good for the soil too um, we don't get as much benefit from them because we are actually letting them fruit flower and we're harvesting but usually when they're done we'll just cut the tops chop and drop and compost and and plant the next round of whatever it is so those roots and those uh, nitrogen fixing nodules on the roots will do something that will help the soil in some way so it's beneficial i need soybeans so i need to put on my list soy bean and soybean is really the only bush bean that we grow that is not true dragon tongue Okay, we need those too. Um, we just really like the way they look. All right, so got our beans done. That was fairly easy. And that's really the process. Uh, we just go through, see what we have, think about our customers, think about our personal needs as a family, because each year we strive to be more sustainable than we were the year before. This year was pretty good. It was better than last year we canned up quite a bit of, of, of produce we froze a lot we dehydrated a lot and um, we're about to my goal is to not get start using those things that are frozen throughout the summer and spring months to not start using them until January 1st so that I have like a full year 365 days to see how those things lasted us and as spring and summer rolls back around and we're starting to put up more things i'm labeling and dating as those things go into the refrigerator moving old things out new things in same thing with our, our canning projects and stuff so it's not just thinking about the customer but we have to think about us too we started this for us and we never want to lose sight that we need to feed ourselves as a family and uh, sustain ourselves, help our farm sustain itself and uh, grow things that are going to do that. So I'm going to continue going through. I'm going to keep sipping on my coffee and working on this. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And uh, if you are looking for some reputable, reputable seed sources, I will link below in the video some of the ones that we use um, that we know for a fact are, are good sources but also I will put separately some of the new ones that we're wanting to try to support this year and just kind of explore what they have oh one more thing I wanted to mention to you some seed companies are already restocking um, for pre-orders for things like garlic, onions, um, and sweet potatoes, slips, seed potatoes, leeks, stuff like that. There, you almost order that kind of stuff nine months in advance. It's it's crazy, but that's the way the cycle works. So, if you've already done your planting, you know, for the fall and you got your onions in the ground, your garlic, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Great. Good for you. I'm so proud of you. We did too. Um, in Alabama, we still have a bit of a window where we can still plant more if we wanted to. Um, and we, we just may do that if we can find some space. But if you haven't, go ahead and check out some of those seed sources in the link in the description below. And go ahead and think about ordering your seed potatoes, your sweet potato slips, because y'all, these things go quickly, okay? And then you'll be stuck, you know, trying to make your own slips like, like we had to do one year. Or um, you may end up having to buy from a source that is not as reputable, that you don't know much about, or you may not be able to find anything at all. So that's just a word to the wise. All right, let me get to work. Clock is ticking. I will see you guys in the next video. Please share this video with someone that may benefit. This is Sheena, Bain Home Gardens. Have a good one.